Hello, my name is Daniel Andano, and I'll be looking at the Asus EPC901, and I'll be comparing two different uh, Linux uh, operating systems, and uh, I'll be comparing the, uh, well, four of the aspects of usability, which uh, we've seen are uh, satisfaction, learnability, errors, and efficiency. Uh, the first uh, example we're going to look at is, I guess, what we would uh, turn the bad usability example. Um, it's it's not, I wouldn't say bad per se, but the issue of function creep is definitely a problem. And uh, from personal experience, I can say that uh, there's definitely an issue with satisfaction. Once you, you have that, that feeling of, uh, of the clutter uh, building up, uh, when it reaches a certain point, you, you kind of just want it all to go away. And uh, in this system here, you'll see that it consists of of uh, two sidebars, and it has quite a few options in each uh, tab. And for example, the preferences tab, you have to scroll down to uh, to see all the different options that are available in the preference tab. Now, one positive aspect of of this uh, operating system is that the it's it's fairly smooth and has uh, nice animations, good icons, are very clear and very large, very legible. But uh, one problem uh, is that the applications haven't been customized for uh, for small screen operating systems such as the netbook. And uh, an example I wanted to show is uh, let's see, let's look at Firefox, and I think you'll see what I mean as far as the problem of uh, program customization that'll match the, the screen size. Now here you'll notice that the the bar toolbar on, uh, on Firefox takes up um, almost a third of the screen there if you include the, the top bar right there. Now that's one of the, the major problems that I see with um, with this operating system in general other than the function creep problem. Um, now, if I were to to redesign this, I would uh, I would make sure that it has the central feature features that most users are going to need, and I would find a way to make those easily accessible. And I would also focus on um, increasing the speed of the boot time. Getting uh, quick access uh, is really vital when you're working on a, a small computer like this that you're carrying around with you. You don't want to have to. Uh, sit down at Barnes and & Noble and, and wait um, over a minute or two in front of your computer while it boots up. And uh, this operating system, uh, Ubuntu, does take uh, close to a minute uh, to start up. Now the other operating system, which is uh, currently in, in beta, it's it's not very stable, so it has the problem of, uh, of uh, errors, which is actually quite, quite decent for the Ubuntu version. Um, but as you'll see when we reboot here, you'll notice that the boot time is very speedy. So this is the Ubuntu. It's shutting down now. And uh, the one that's going to start up is called Moblin, which is uh, mobile Linux. It's currently in development. And uh, like I said, it does have that problem with, uh, with uh, errors. The system tends to freeze up a bit, especially with uh, web, web browsing which is a pretty serious problem considering that you're going to be spending most of your time uh, browsing the web on a, a netbook as the name entails and uh, you can see it booting up and there it is right away it takes a few seconds and you'll, you'll see when it connects to the web let's see how long that takes, it should be for the, there we go, connected and as you can see from the home screen it's a, it's a very large difference, you can see that it's not as cluttered. We have uh, two very open spaces on each side here. Uh, I haven't really set this up yet, but you can set up feeds. Uh, currently, they have uh, the web services for uh, Last.fm and Twitter. And as you can see, the, the top tab isn't, uh, isn't as cluttered as the other system. And if you scroll all the way up, there's a drop down of the different screens. They have a, a My Zone, which is sort of the home screen. So you can go back there. And here they have a calendar, left hand side, which displays the appointments and uh, to do list. And uh, it has a link to the web browser. And one of the negative aspects here is that the, the uh, buttons aren't very, 
recognizable. You have to sort of hover over them to see what they are. We've got a media player. And you'll see that we have a few images here to preview. Now it's, it's a pretty nice system in terms of uh, the speed. It's pretty intuitive. You don't really have to spend much time learning to use it. In fact, this is my first time using the, the image program. And uh, it, you can see it's pretty smooth, very well designed. And uh, the learn learnability problem is definitely much lower in this system than in Ubuntu. Now let's see here. Let's see if we can get back to there. There we go. And the major feature which I wanted to address was the, the internet browser, which, as you can see here, it, it previews uh, previous websites that have been visited frequently. So you can just scroll through the websites there. And uh, let's just take a look here at uh, Moblin's website. So you can take a look at the browser. And like I said, it, one of the problems with this um, system right now is, although while it is in beta, the web browser is a little bit unstable. And it's not quite refined. It tends to accumulate tabs a bit don't seem to close out when you close the browser. And uh, here you can see that um, it's a very clean interface. Uh, there isn't any clutter going on like there was with uh, the Ubuntu uh, default browser, which was Firefox. And uh, essentially this is, I think, what, what is going to be um, the ideal system for, for a netbook type of computer. It's fast to boot. It's uh, quick to access the things you need to get to. It doesn't have too much clutter, although if you go to the applications list, you can see that it actually has quite a few options there. Just uh, it's organized in a, in a way that doesn't really get in your way unless you go out of your way to look for them. And uh, so essentially I would say that uh, the satisfaction in the system is, is much higher um, than the, the Ubuntu, especially because of the, the way that they organize uh, their features, so that you don't have that sort of the sense of the features is creeping up on you and uh, cluttering your system. And uh, efficiency, I would say that uh, the efficiency really depends upon the user. Uh, if someone is a, a power user, they would might might feel that this system isn't uh, quite adequate for their needs. Although I think uh, almost everyone would would find, I should say, the average user would would find this system uh, to be much more efficient. And um, like I said, the errors is a problem currently, but maybe once it's out of beta, it'll be comparable to Ubuntu. That concludes my usability analysis uh, presentation. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching.